I wonder if he knows Case all right. I hope he's not being too reckless. Okay, then. Hmm. Screaming! It's coming from that direction! What are you looking at? This isn't a play, you know. What are you doing? Aren't you two fighting on the same side? The same side? Don't go phrasing it in such an infantile manner. The two of us are family. We are connected by a powerful bond. Regardless of that, this is between me and my sister. If you insist on interfering, I'll carve you up. You're wrong. Family or comrade, as long as you feel close to one another, that's all that really matters. Calling such precious bonds childish, that's not true at all. Not only that, but those who are strongly connected with each other give off the scent of trust. But all I'm picking up from you two is the scent of terror, hatred, and revulsion. That's not something you can call a bond. It's a fake. A forgery! Now then, what did you just say? I asked you, what did you say to me? Look how scary he got. It feels like the air became ten times heavier. Inosuke, I'm sorry. I'm gonna need you to hang in there a little longer. I'll be there as soon as I defeat this demon. I'll come help you no matter what! I'll say it as many times as I have to. The bonds you have aren't real at all! Just so you know, I'm not going to kill you on a single strike. Instead, I'll dissect you piece by piece. However, if you take back what you said to me just now, I'll make your death mercifully quick. I refuse! What I said was the unbridled truth! I won't take it back, not on your life! You're the one who's in the wrong! I see. That sounds like so. I'll tear you to pieces. The way the threat's move is making this a difficult fight. If I misjudge my timing even for an instant, I'll die! You may be strong, but I can't lose this fight! I've gotta cut his head off! What a wheel! Just die off. <laughs> It's not over yet. That was nothing you do this time. Keep your up. Stay alert. Can't lose focus. Let's give him a single opening. Have to watch his movements carefully! Ah, what a wheel! Over here. Ah. 
Let's try that. No way. Over here. Really? Let's try. <sighs> He's smarter than I gave him credit for. He doesn't shrink back in fear. Water breathing! First form! Not that any of that will matter in the end. Water service slash! <laughs> My... my sword's been broken. I can't believe it! Are... are those threads he's controlling? Are they even tougher than the demons I've cut through? I can't dodge this! Nezuko! Nezuko, hang in there. You protected me. Thank you. The girl emerged from that box and defended him. But I'm sure she's one of us! <laughs> is she your sibling? And so what if she is? Siblings. Siblings. His sister's been turned into a demon. Yet she stays by his side. R Rui? She risked her own life... to protect him. That is a genuine bond, and it'll be mine! Rui, hold on a second! Please reconsider! I'm your elder sister! You can't abandon me! Shut up! None of you were able to fulfill the roles you were assigned. Not once in your entire life. Wait, brother! Wasn't I the elder sister that you wanted? Give me another chance! Very well, then. Go kill the humans wandering all over this mountain. If you do that, I'll forgive you for what just happened. Uh, all right. Yes, I'll do that. Boy, let's talk. Just the two of us. The truth is, what your sister did, I found it genuinely moving to behold. I doubt any words exist that describe exactly how I felt. However, your fate now is death. A disagreeable conclusion for you, no doubt. So listen close. I'll impart to you how you can escape your fate. I want you to give your sister to me. If you do so, then I will spare your life. I have no idea what you're talking about. As of today, instead of being your little sister, she's mine. You don't actually think I'd ever agree to that, do you? First off, Nezuko's not a thing! She has her own will and feelings! There's no way she'll ever be your sister! It's alright. You don't need to worry. I'm stronger than you. I will create a bond with her. One made of terror. She'll know what happens when I'm defied. I've had enough of you spouting this nonsense! Using fear to keep someone shackled to you isn't the bond of a family! And until you are able to figure that out, you'll never get what it is you desire! So irritating. Would you mind not shouting? It's clear we don't agree. I'll never hand Nezuko over to you! Very well, then. I'll just take her after I kill you. Not if I manage to cut your head off first! Now that's the spirit. I would love to see you try. Let's see if you have what it takes to bring down one of the twelve Kizuki. His eye says lower rank five. As I thought. His power... he really is one of the Twelve Kizuki. In a family, 
The father has his designated role to fulfill, and the mother has hers in turn. The parents protect their eldest children, and the eldest protect the younger ones. What are you even talking about? The way I see it, if you don't understand your own role in life, there's no reason in living it to begin with. As for you, I'll tell you your role. It is to relinquish your younger sister to me and disappear. If you refuse, your only other path is death. For you cannot defeat me. It won't be easy to cut those threads. But what do I do if his neck is even tougher? Not to mention my broken sword. That steely look in your eyes. I don't like it. What are you plotting? Don't tell me. You think you can defeat me? Ne Nezuko! Quiet down. This won't be enough to kill her. She's a demon. <laughs> Calm down. Don't get emotional. Concentrate. Control your breathing! <laughs> Don't be afraid. Get into his face and cut his neck. Then rescue Nezuko! Nezuko! Please just hold on a little longer! I swear. Big Brother will save you! The steel look in your eyes. I don't like it. What are you plotting? Die. I'll kill you. I will kill you. You don't have to worry. Once you're gone, I'll be sure to teach your sister a lesson. I'm going to let her bleed for a while. If she won't learn to be obedient, I'll just leave her like that until daybreak. Then let her burn. Then I'm certain. She'll never defy me again. And our bond will be complete. I already told you, that's not what a bond is at all! Everything you're saying is wrong! You just want to chain Nezuko down! <sighs> the only thing wrong here is that you're still alive. <laughs> no way! That was not to... Yeah! you go! <sighs> Let's try that again! <laughs> that was not... Yeah! <laughs> wheel! Over here, just die already. Let's try the trip. You can do this, Tanjiro. I will not yield. No way. Over here. That was nothing. My sword may be broken, but it doesn't matter. Really? Total concentration! Water breathing! Transform! It's futile. Constant flux! Ah! I did it! I just have to keep closing the distance! Boy. You don't think these threads are at maximum strength, do you? Blood demon art. Cutting thread cage. I have no more use for you. Farewell. Not good! I can't cut these threads! I don't have enough momentum! Something's wrong. We're giving off a totally different scent than the other ones. This can't be how it ends. It can't. Am I really gonna die here? Am I?
Tanjiro, you are breathing. Master your command over it and become like the Hinokami. Look, Tanjiro. That is your father's Kagura dance. Our family works with fire, so to ward off injuries and disasters, we offer this dance to Hinokami, along with our prayers at the start of each year. Father's health has always been frail, right? So how can he be out in the snow and still keep dancing and dancing? If that were me, I bet my lungs would freeze. There exists a breathing technique. One that will prevent you from ever exhausting yourself. If you can master the correct way to breathe, you'll be able to dance forever too. No matter how cold it gets. No Kami! Kagura! Tanjiro! You have to break through! It's like those threads have a life of their own! He's leaving new ones faster than I can blink! But I can't hesitate! They will make the customs for forcefully switching from water breathing to Hinokami Kagura! If I stop now, I'll be rendered immobile for a time! Why I need to keep pressing on! I can't let this moment slip by! My lungs! My legs! My strength! Give it everything I've got! Keep going! Keep pushing! Forward! Forward! I'm a stubborn brat. What's it going to take to finally bring him down? Even if it costs me my life, I'm going to take you down right here and now! <laughs> no way! Over that here. That was nothing! <laughs> Let's try... <laughs> To save your brother, you're capable of doing so. Your brother will be killed if you don't. Blood demon art. Exploding blood! Impossible. But my neck is even harder than the threads. You can't possibly cut it. Yeah! <gasps> A bond between Nezuko and I cannot! Family's Kagura passed down for generations somehow manifested itself into a technique, and that helped me defeat that demon. I beat him. I won. Nezuko. Ugh. 
My vision's blurry. And my whole body's throbbing with pain. Is it because I took too many breaths too fast? I gotta catch my second wind and press on. I still need to go help Inosuke as soon as I can. The scent of blood just became stronger. Don't tell me. He survived that, but I cut his head off. You thought you defeated me? How sad for you. Did your delusion bring you a brief moment of joy? I cut my head off myself using my own threads, before you were able to do the job yourself. Enough struggling. I'll kill both you and your sister. I haven't been this incensed in a long time. Get up! Get on your feet! You need to control your breathing! Hurry! There's no time! Now I'm going to carve you up without regret. Blood demon art. Murderous eye basket. Don't let your breathing be disrupted, Tanjiro! Calm down. Just stay calm. My arm. I can't raise my arm! That's right. I... Every single day, I missed my parents so much I could barely stand it. Even after crafting a family of my own, that emptiness remained. Because I was the strongest, I couldn't depend on anyone to protect me. No one. The more powerful I became, the more distant my memories of being human became as well. I began losing sight of what it was I wanted in the first place. I sought out a bond that I was never able to claim for myself. Not in my old life, nor the new one I created. His body is giving off a scent, one of grief, too overwhelming for him to bear. So warm. Hands. Gentle as sunbeams. Don't waste your sympathy. It was a demon. The fact it looked like a child makes no difference. It lived for decades, terrorizing our people. If it's for the sake of avenging people who were killed, to make sure there are no more victims, I won't hesitate to bring my blade down on any demon's neck. But when it comes to those who felt despair and regret from the actions they took as a demon, I will never disrespect them. Because at one time or another, they were human. No different from me! Aren't you too? Oh my! Why would you get in my way, Tomioka? And after you told me we could never be friends with demons, I have to say... This kind of thing is exactly why no one likes you. Now then, Tomioka, would you please move? People do like me. Oh dear, I do apologize. You're only just hearing about this now then? I'm sorry, I didn't mean for you to find out this way. Boy? Yes, ma'am! What you're protecting there is actually a demon. So please move away before you get hurt. No, you're mistaken. Well, you're not mistaken, but she's... She's my little sister. 
She's my sister, and that's why you... Oh my, is that really true? You poor thing. In that case, so she won't suffer, I'll use a gentle toxin in order to kill her. <sighs> Can you move? Even if it's difficult, you need to go. Take your sister and run. Tomioka, thank you. I appreciate this. Did you just break the rules of the core? <laughs> Tomioka. Oh, that's right. He's the one we met before. Tomioka's the one who introduced me to Uro Kodaki. Back when Nesuko was first turned into a demon, I had no idea what to do back then. And now, he's saving us again! I can't ever thank him enough! <sighs> My whole body... is aching so much, I want to scream! But I have to keep going, and endure it! Don't stop running! Keep on moving! You've got to run away! This forest! <laughs> Tomioka, this is clearly against the rules. You're preventing me from slaying a demon. What are your intentions here? Don't you have anything to say for yourself? As I recall, it was two years ago. Are you about to go into a long-winded story from the past just to spite me? It's because of what I said to you earlier, is that it? <laughs> message! Message! <laughs> Tanjiro and Nezuko are to be taken into custody and brought back to headquarters! Tanjiro and the demon Nezuko are to be taken into custody and brought back to headquarters. Tanjiro with a scar on his forehead. Nezuko, a demon girl with a bamboo muzzle. Are you Nezuko? He does have a scar. All right, let's bring him in. Come on, let's get going. Everyone else is already starting to clear out. The battle for this mountain is over.